Hello. In Module 2, when we look at market failure, you may have to draw the cobweb diagram. It's a diagram which confuses a lot of people. So let's go through that now. The cobweb theory is a theory which tries to explain why in agricultural markets we see price oscillations or fluctuations, where one season the price is high, the next season it's low, then it's high again, and then it's low again. And this is very difficult uh, for farms to cope with because they can never really make investment decisions and they never really know how much to supply from one year to the next. So why do these price fluctuations happen? Well, the cobweb theory is one explanation for that and the diagram is part of that theory. Let's imagine the market for carrots. Initially, there is a demand curve and a supply curve for carrots. And there is a price and quantity, quantity zero, price zero, which would be equilibrium in the market. And let's imagine something happens one year to the crop of carrots, perhaps adverse weather conditions or something, massively reduces the amount available to Q1. Those farmers with carrots to sell would find that they could charge a relatively high price of P1 and still sell their carrots. When it comes to planning for the following year, they will look back at price P1 and be encouraged by that and be willing to grow quantity Q2 for the following year. That's at the heart of the whole cobweb theory, that farmers make their supply decisions based on the previous year's prices. So they grow Q2, but when it comes to harvest time and time to sell these carrots, they find that the only way they can get rid of all of OQ2 carrots is by charging a low price of P2. They can't store the carrots, and they have to sell them. So the only way to clear all of those OQ2 markets is to offer the low price of P2. Now it comes time for planning for year three, and they are unimpressed when they look back and see price P2. And so they only grow, reading off the supply curve, they only grow Q3. But when they then sell Q3, they find that they can charge a price P3 for those carrots. The following year, encouraged by the relatively high price of P3, they grow this much, Q4. But when it comes to selling Q4, they can only sell at price P4, and so on and so on. Now, as you see, we have a high price, a low price, a high price, a low price. The price oscillations are narrowing. That means we have a convergent cobweb. And these are the most common kind of price oscillations, rather than divergent, where the prices get wider and wider apart. But nevertheless, this is very disruptive for the farmers. Hence, the need to stabilize these markets through systems such as the Common Agricultural Policy. We can highlight the, the oscillations. I'll use red to do that by showing that these prices simply, season by season, it may take many seasons, get closer and closer together. Of course, in the meantime, something else may have thrown them off that equilibrium and they may enter a new combo. All in all, it's very disruptive for the farmers and it's an explanation for why prices fluctuate in agricultural markets. You may find yourself explaining that in Module 2. Thank you.